edge. Got a couple phone calls, a couple text messages that guys are convinced that their wives or girlfriends are cheating on. That's funny, man. Oh wow! I didn't even check the text messages. Everybody's like, when my wife was cheating, we should do every single thing. You know the thing though, if you were a more attentive person, you wouldn't even have to check these things off because your wife wouldn't have been cheating on you. Exactly. You know, so don't you, as, a, as an attentive husband, you'd be like, "Oh, she's really not talking to me." Yeah. At all. Uh, you know? Maybe, maybe just say, "Hey, you know what? Her day is important too. Let me listen to her day." I do love Chuck Wagon Wednesday. Me too. Thank you so much, Shevin. In a popka, it's Chuck Wagon in a popka. Absolutely great, great food. Uh, Miguel Colon's here, Monster Comic of the Year. How was your food? Oh, it's delicious, man. Pretty Chef good, man. always makes it great. Yes, he does. Hey, uh, Carlos, so we have a yes. special guest here today. It's uh, Henry, uh, and Henry wants to be a talk show host, so he's kind of uh, you know, come in. We're going to give him some advice and, and help him out a little bit. And Henry's mom is here yes. as well, and uh, you're here representing, representing the, uh, it's the Dr. Phillips... The Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts, and specifically, we we're here to talk about Dr. Phillips Center Florida Hospital School of the Arts. We have a school that comes out of a, the Dr. Phillips Center for the Performing Arts, and Henry takes class there. Um, we have a specialized class for Henry and special needs population called the Sensory Friendly Acting Class. Mm -hmm. But we also have all performing arts. We've got music and dance. We've got hip hop, tap dance. And I was able to walk around. They gave me a tour of the yeah. school, and it's right there where all of the best performance artists in the world are are are, are performing. Literally, you're 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 in class, and you're going to see people walk by below that are performing in these great Broadway shows. I, I literally was sitting in the lobby. Uh, Yes, uh, Monday, and Cheetah Rivera was sitting in the lobby waiting for her shuttle to take her back to her hotel. Wow, that is so and cool. all these little kids came running down the stairs, and she looked at me and she said, What's that? I said, Miss Rivera, that's dance camp. And she was so excited. Right it was just incredible. So, so you know, if you're, if you're wanting to find out more information about these classes, and there's so many of them, here's the phone number it's 407 455 five 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 one or you can email classes at dr phillips center dot org and last week after henry was in we had a lot of people asking about this oh we yeah a ton of people want to know more about it henry how you doing today buddy i'm doing great hey, what up? We, we learned last week that uh, it's important to be a, a good talk show host is that you need a, a good catchphrase what was your catchphrase i'm thinking about me perfect <laughs> yes, that's good. Also, you need a, a good, well, I, I believe you need a, like a good sidekick, a good person to be on the radio with you. I know your mom does it with you, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, all right. All right, very good. And so. actually, their show, which uh, you can watch on YouTube, mm -hmm. you can go to their website. It's henryandhismom.com. He interviews guests, local celebrities, kids. He's the host of the OCA show. But now he's getting a little more background with Rusty Ray Rollins, showing him how to be a talk show. Well, you know, 25 years yeah, experience yeah, yeah. here. You know, I mean, I might be a bit of a legend here in Orlando, so I will uh, be able to walk you through this a little bit. Uh, are, are you good with that, Henry? Yeah, I think so. Henry, when you, when you, uh, when you replace Russ. Yeah. Me and Carlos just keep his arm, man. And you right, better, right, right better it. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> like next week. Be ready next week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never know. Um, so, I, I thought that this week it would be a good... Uh, you know, good thing for you to be prepared and everything, and to do an interview with somebody. You interviewed last week. You interviewed Dirty Jim. Yes, you did a great job. Great job. This week, we kind of gave you a week to, to come up with questions and everything, and to do an in-depth interview with Blondie Molly, who a lot of people don't know about. So we figured we'd give you that opportunity. Here she is, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's a uh, Blondie Molly and uh, Henry. I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you interview her. All right. So Blondie Molly, what are you doing when you're not blogging? <laughs> All kinds of things. I like to run. I like to hang out with my daughter, and we have lots of fun. We go to the theme parks. We have so much fun at Disney. We have so much fun at Universal. I mean, we're always busy. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I want too. <laughs> so, what is vlogging anyway, and why do you do it? Well, it's my job, and what I do is what these fine gentlemen talk about, I take it and put it on the website. So, when they mention a funny video, I put the funny video on the website, and I get the click, click, clicks. So, Molly, this year at SCA Theatre Week at Dr. Phillips Center, we're going to do the, to the play Sports Wars. It's our version of Star Wars. I'm going to be the narrator. Who's your favorite Star Wars character and why? Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. Russ, watch out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my favorite is Han Solo because he's very pretty. 
And yeah. he's the has the best ship in all the universe of all the universes, the Millennium Falcon. So what about the narrator? Don't you think I'll do a great job as the sports wars narrator? <laughs> what about me? Uh, you're gonna do amazing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes. So Molly, at Dr. Phillips Center, Florida Hospital School of the Arts, we have a lot of different classes. We've got hip hop and tap dance, acting, magic. Musical theater, rock band, and ukulele! <laughs> Which class do you think would be the best for nerdy news listeners? Uh, ooh. Tap dance? I've always wanted to tap dance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Zero balance, so it would be fun to try. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Molly, which class would you teach if you could teach a class at the School of the Arts? Ooh, I would teach people how to blog. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about how me. What level are you on Pokemon Go? Twelve. That's right. <laughs> we all knew that just by seeing you. Like, Twelve. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and did you cook? Do you cook? Do I cook? I Sometimes I do. I yeah. like to like uh, chicken and vegetables because that's all I can eat right now. That's right. Do you like high candy? <laughs> do you like laundry? Do I like do laundry? Do you do laundry? Yeah. Oh, of course I do laundry. Someone has to. Yeah. Do you want to wash win windows? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not wash windows. So, why are you still single? <laughs> To shine out shoes? You have to shine shoes. You like to shine shoes. I don't like the direction this is going. Yeah. <laughs> it fell off the, the rails a little bit. But you get your shine box. Yeah, you can finish out the interview, Henry. Yeah. Well, well, that's right. You know, Molly, I'm a syndicated talk show host, but I also love game shows. What's your favorite game show? Ooh, I love Wheel of Fortune. And how about how your favorite game show? What do you mean? You yeah, watch I mean, Jeopardy? No, I don't. Just Wheel of Fortune. She's a woman. Well, I watch Wheel of Fortune, I watch Jeopardy, I watch Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, I watch Family Feud, I watch The Price is Right, I watch Let's Make a Deal, I watch Hollywood Square, I watch Pyramid, I watched uh, Match you, Game. You just described Russ I, I know! I the truth. I love to watch all of these game shows, like Celebrity Name Game. Yeah. Wow, you, you want to be a host of one of those one day, that'd be cool, right? Pyramid, Match Game. Any of them. And, and Hollywood Squares. Henry, that was an excellent. excellent. Tell the truth. Excellent. Henry, do you have questions? any other uh, last do wanna, questions for Bloggy Molly? Question with it? So, if you could win anything on a game show, what would it be? Ooh, um, I would like a trip around the world. Yeah. <laughs> He's like typical answer. He's like, I didn't stay up writing these questions for you to give me this garbage. Okay, now, so, now, now wrap it Molly, up, Henry, Henry. Wrap it, wrap it up, and then. Leave. So Molly, I'll pretend to be I'm. De I'll pretend to be I'm Kirk Fogg. So Molly, here we go. I'll pretend to be I'm Kirk Fogg. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question, like on the game show Hollywood Squares. Let's see what see what you win. Pick a star, mom. Um, let's go with uh, Carlos Navarro. Carlos Navarro! Oh, hello, hello. Carlos Navarro. How are you doing, Henry? <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Oh, the team line there, convertible. <laughs> yeah! Okay. All right. All right, Carlos. Let's hear it, buddy. Carlos. Batman Carlos. Carlos. Which actor played the Kid Crusader in Batman Forever? Is it Michael Keaton, mm. Val Kilmer, or George Clooney? Whoa, so Batman Forever. Look at Russ's face. He's oh, like, Russ oh. is tripping right now. <laughs> Batman Forever. Russ is remembering the poster in his home. Uh, I think that's when Robin was involved. And so if Robin was involved, I think that had to be Val Kilmer, right? Yeah. Val Kilmer? Molly, you're going to say Val Kilmer? Val Kilmer? Yeah, for the cheap landlord Confederate. You're going to say it. I agree. I agree. You got yourself a cheap landlord Confederate! Yeah! Yeah!
Mega yeah. Man Souvenir. That's a, high yeah. five. That's a great job. Henry. I gotta tell you, Henry, you are a natural, sir. Wow. You have a good radio voice, too, Henry. Man. You have, I mean, seriously, you have a great radio voice. Yeah, great inflection, man. So, Molly, this was great. I hope you'll come and be on my show, the OCA show. <laughs> yeah. I got, I got one question for you. Um, can you read? Uh, can you read uh, Wikipedia and tell me where it's at? <laughs> <laughs> you got to gig. Because if you can, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Uh, we might have something for no Henry. Uh, that was great. Incredible job. You're doing great. Now uh, next week, I think it would be wonderful. If you interviewed uh, Miguel Colon, there you go. Uh, if you wouldn't uh, mind, Henry, I would love that. Monster comedian of the year, so, stand up yeah, comedian. So next week, you get your interview ready, and you'll interview Miguel Colon. Well, you know, the audience doesn't know a lot about him yet. You know, he just kind of came around and everything. And you can get to an in depth interview, and we can try to find out a little more information about the Monster Comic of the Year. Would you like to interview him next week? Yeah, of course. Okay, oh, now, 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 and, and, and Russ may, may agree with you. You want to get better? Here's a little tip. When you're doing an interview and somebody tells you the answer, her, kind of react to it a little bit. Give it a little second when she tells you that she loves Wheel of Fortune. You know, you say, oh, wow, yeah, I love Wheel of Fortune. I have the, the board game as well, and it's a lot of fun. And she loves Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> she loves Jeopardy. Yes. Yeah. But you are kicking ass. Great job. Yeah, great job. Great she job. loves Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yeah. Uh, that's true. Uh, that's yeah. True. What other ones? What's your catchphrase again? I forgot. I'm thinking about me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Boom. It is awesome. You did a great job, buddy. Once again, thanks to the Dr. Phillips. Yes, and if you are interested in taking any of the amazing classes, call this number. It's 407-455-5551, and especially any of the sensory-friendly acting classes. If you happen to have a child that may have some autism, check it on out. Well, now I feel like we really know Bloggy Molly. Like yeah. in depth, in depth I, 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 interview. That was awesome. Great job, yeah. buddy. We appreciate it. Thanks, Henry. Uh, when thank we come you. back, we'll, Thanks, find Mom. we'll find out what you're talking about. Thank you. With Nerdy News and Bloggy Molly, when we return, you're listening to the Mantras of the Morning. Henry freaking killed it, brother. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug, man. I love his reaction. He's like, yeah.